Hey, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy, and today we have a bass from the track Music's Got Soul by Paul T. and Edward Ovron. So, this is the original version. And this is my version. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initialized patch. And at first glance, this sound kind of feels just like a distorted saw wave, like this. But in reality, it's a bit more complex than that. So... First, I'm just going to show you how to set up the MIDI for this. So we're going to be playing two F sharps and then an E, but we're going to have some pitch bending. And this is going to be the curve. We're going from the original pitch to two semitones down. Just like that. Now let's go back into Serum. Here again, you can see the pitch bend wheel. And now let's set up our oscillator. So we're going to load a sine wave on oscillator A, turn on the sub and turn on the noise. Now let's bring the randomness of the phase all the way down and bring the phase to zero. We're going to boost this up a little bit. And then we're going to bring the noise down and set it on bright white. And next we're going to map an LFO into the core speech of oscillator A, hold shift and alt to change the modulation to unipolar and then create a short transient with the pitchman. Just like that. But let's set our envelope. There you go. And now let's go into the effects. And here in the effects, we're going to add hyper. And you guessed it, a lot of distortion. But it's still not sounding super cool. It's just a very distorted sine wave. Now there's a very specific post-processing to achieve this. So let's get into it. So now we are at the post-processing stage. Let me turn every effect on and then off. Okay, so we're gonna begin with this trash two. Now what is happening here in trash two is that we have the multiband mode set up here. So by default, it'll just sound like this. But if we turn on the multiband, we can split our different bands this way. So for example, we have the lows up until 1000 Hertz, which is not so low. And then we have this mid band from 1000 to 2.7 thousand Hertz. And then everything else is the highs. Now here on each band, we have a lot of drive, as you can see right here. It's just very distorted. And now we have an EQ and we're gonna make a very, very weird shape. And we're essentially going to clip everything here by boosting the lows, adding a notch in random spots and accentuating a specific parts of the noise. that you want to be more present in the sound. Then we're gonna add an erosion and this erosion will help us add more noise in the mids. And then we have an utility and this utility is basically the sidechain of the sound. And next we have an EQ and with the CQ we have a notch. getting rid of some of the mid harmonics. But again, this one is very specific. I encourage you to experiment with this one. And once again, we have a shaping on the noise. Now, after a lot of this clipping, if we had this at zero, it's just gonna be super distorted. And don't worry, I'm not gonna play it. So we have to bring it down like this. 
So this will be the first layer. Now for the next layer, we have just simple noise. And how this noise is achieved is by adding an oscillator and a sine wave and running both through distortion. Then we just need to high pass it. And once again, I chain it. So both of these layers will sound like this. And if we play this with the drums, that's what we get. Now, all of these EQs are super specific and there really is no thought process behind it other than boosting what you like and running that through the distortion of either the DAW or Trash or other plugins. That movement right there is really cool. And as you can see, it's all about personal preference. So that is gonna be it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you're gonna get access to this preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.